Wills. We're in such a good place right now. If only there wasn't all this unpleasantness with Harry and his book. I know. I've been thinking about him a lot recently. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we had a fight. It was just a bit of horseplay. Oh! Oh! No worries, Willie! Well, after everything he said, I just think he's a total c. <gasps> it's my team with a briefing. Abide, I'd and abide! Hey, um, God, I love it here. Thank you for that positive and life-affirming statement. I love it here, too. It's the simplicity, isn't it? Everything back to basics. Uh, over there, by the statue of Oprah, please, guys. And the amazing thing is, we've paid for it all ourselves, without trading on our royal connections. Mm. Any news from Netflix? We're meeting them later. Itch, when I was chanting just now, I was thinking about how you can only live in your full knowing if you stand in your full knowing? Absolutely. Can you stand and live in your full knowing if you don't go back and reconnect with Wills? Thank you for that caring and empathetic inquiry. Actually, I have been thinking about him a lot recently. I remember our fight so clearly. <clears throat> I haven't exaggerated <clears throat> any of it. <laughs> But after what he did, I just think he's a total... You've got five minutes. What's this all about? We've asked you here so we can apologize. I've realized now that it was inappropriate of me to tell the world you're living in a cycle of genetic pain. And it was wrong of me to say you're too formal. You're an emotional being, Kate. And you can hug, just in your own special UK way. You're our family. Oh, Harold. Willie. Oh. Megan. Kate! Oh. I never really thought you were racist. Well, I probably said something unintentionally racist. I'm a white upper middle class man with no black friends. Something was bound to slip out. Oh, that's what they call unconscious bias. Like when I dressed as a Nazi. Uh -huh. uh, listen, we've got to head, but uh, see you at the coronation, yeah? It would be our honor to attend. Bye. You see, Harry? With family comes opportunity, but also responsibility and accountability. And I guess that's what you call Empathy. Oh, thanks for teaching me such a valuable lesson, Em. You really are wiser than Gandhi. <sighs> hey! Yes. Netflix are gonna love this. Oh, great, because I literally didn't understand any of it. Okay. We asked you here so we could apologize. We we beat over that. We're, we're all good. I've realized now that it was inappropriate of me to tell the world you're living in a cycle of genetic pain. What's going on? Cut! <gasps> Is this being filmed for Netflix? We're really sorry. They just want us to go again for close-ups. So everything you said was scripted? Sure, but we still meant it. Yeah, that's the bit I don't understand. A, a team of writers gives us this stuff. We learn it, which is bloody difficult for me. And then we have to pretend like it's real. It is real. The writers take the emotional truth and weave it in a compelling and relatable drama. Oh, I bet that was written for you, too. You can forget about coming to our coronation. Oh, but we've got to go. We need more content for Netflix. Not on my watch, lady. Willie, Kate, we owe you an apology. A proper one this time, with no cameras. And no weird dialogue for me to learn. <laughs> we can't pretend your behavior has not had a negative impact on our mental health. Speaking out when you have a mental health issue is so important, which is why I started my Eidenabite scheme. But of course, we accept your apology and we look forward to renewing our friendship. It's for our Instagram feed. It's so important to get your narrative out there.